The remote desktop is one of the most useful tools in Windows. In effect, it lets you use one computer's desktop and the installed applications on a different computer. So, for example, if you have Microsoft Word or Visual Studio installed on a desktop PC and you want to run them on your laptop, you can do that by using the remote desktop on your laptop, even if those programs are not actually installed on your laptop. When you connect the PC and the laptop, the laptop suddenly looks as though you're working on your desktop PC, and you can use Visual Studio and Word, even though, as I said, you haven't actually got them installed there. But you aren't restricted to connecting Windows systems together in that way. Here, for example, I'm running my Raspberry Pi desktop on my Windows-based PC. Now, before going any further, I assume that you have a Raspberry Pi with a Raspberry Pi OS installed and that you have a username and a computer name. That's the host name for the Raspberry Pi. For example, here, as I can see in the status bar, the computer name is Raspberry Pi 23 and the username is just Pi. If you need help to set up your Raspberry Pi, go to the Raspberry Pi site, the website, which has lots of help and tutorials. I'm also going to assume that you have a desktop PC running Windows 10 or above. Here I'm using Windows 11. Now, I'm also assuming that the PC and the Raspberry Pi are both connected to a home network or they're connected to the internet using a shared router. OK, so how do I access the Raspberry Pi desktop from my Windows-based PC? Let me explain. So here I am on my Raspberry Pi, ready to install the remote desktop protocol. I've got this gigantic screen here, just so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm sure your screen will be smaller. But let me first of all start by running the terminal. That's this icon up here. Open that, and now I need to Enter this sudo, that's the standard Linux command to uh, do something, to get something to done. Super user do, it's short for sudo apt space install and then the remote desktop protocol is xrdp. Press enter, is that correct? Yeah, looks like it's working, that's done, that's done, that's done. So it's going through all these stages. Do I want to continue? Certainly do. Okay. So this is going to take a, a little while and uh, the next thing I need to do is to uh, start this service when it's finished. Okay, so it's finished uh, installing that. So now I need to start it. Again, it's another sudo command, sudo sudo space service s e r b i c e space x r d p space start enter now i need to make sure i know the ip address i might again need this later um, of my raspberry pi so i will just enter i f config And I think I need to scroll back up to the top here. So this is my the uh, IP address that I need to remember. So I, I should write that down, or yours will be different from mine. Write it down. You may need that later on. OK, so let's try this out. I'm on Windows now, so I need to start. Uh, the remote desktop connection. So I've just searched for that and there it is. And now I need to enter the name of the computer I'm connecting to. That's Raspberry Pi 23 in this case and click connect. And it'll prompt me there, accept yes. And now I am being prompted to log into the Raspberry Pi. So I enter my username, which is Pi and whatever password I've set up and click OK. And here I am in the Raspberry Pi. It might prompt you to log in again. It depends on exactly how you're set up. But essentially, that's all you need to do to log on from Windows to your Raspberry Pi. So now I can click an icon and start browsing around my Raspberry Pi. Uh, 
No, I'm actually all ready to copy files from my PC onto the Raspberry Pi if I wish to. Now, I can't copy it into any directory because of certain security restrictions uh, for operating system files and folders and so on. But in my username directory, that's under Home Home Pi, I can create new folders. Let's put my test. OK, so there's my folder and open that up. Now go back into Windows and here's a file I want to copy across. So let me select a file, uh, control C to copy it back into the Raspberry Pi on the remote desktop and control V to paste it. And there you go. So I've already copied a file direct from my PC onto the Raspberry Pi, all on my Windows system desktop. Um, simple as that, really. What I ha can't do at the moment is browse the Raspberry Pi using the Windows uh, File Explorer. Even that is possible. It requires a bit more, uh, a few more steps to get that running, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Now that you have your Raspberry Pi desktop usable on Windows, you'll need to be able to browse the file system. I'll explain what you need to do with that to browse the Raspberry Pi from the Windows File Explorer in the next lesson. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I see you again soon with all sorts of other things on Lazarus, Raspberry Pis and other programming topics.